गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल द ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुबीर कुमार डाकुआ आई वॉन्ट टू नो डिस्कस नो द प्रोजेक्शन टॉपिक इट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इन जोग्राफी स्पेशली इन जोग्राफी इट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक नाउ एंड आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्क्राइब सम इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन ओके सो एंड डिस्क्राइब नाउ ओके my first is I, my, my first discussion is the angular units what is angular units okay the angular units is the unit of measurement on a sphere or a spheroid sphere you know okay the angular units that means the unit of measuring of a sphere on a sphere or a spheroid usually degree usually degree okay it is degree mainly the degree it is mm. and map projection parameters such as central meridian and the standard parallel are defined in angular units okay so i have to tell you the what is angular units angular units is the measurement of sphere or spheroids okay usually degree which is represent the degree okay so we measurement how, what measurement we want to know that what is actually degrees okay and uh, we measure the sphere and spheroid okay and map projection parameters such as the central meridians central meridians and standard parallels okay just so it is the central meridian it is it is the central meridians mean and it is the standard parallel okay so it is the standard parallel and it is the standard uh, central meridian so here it is the angular units okay and uh, central meridian are defined with the defined the angular units what is the actual angular angular units so for it is represent the angular we know the angular unit from the, those okay so it is the angular units okay so it is the angular units the, the we measure the spheres measured on a spheres on the on a or a period usually degree okay Map projection parameters such as central meridian and standard parallel are defined uh, in angular units. Okay, we define angular units. Okay, azimuth. Now we in discussion the azimuth. Now we discuss the azimuth. An angle measurement from north, an angle measurement from north, and used to define the oblique, oblique use cylindrical projection, and or or the angles of the geodetic between. Two decimal between two points. So azimuth means we we measure the north point angle of angle measures. We know in the especially in the north north pole lines. Okay, north point. Okay, so it is defined to oblique cylindrical cylindrical projection. It it what is described the oblique cylindrical projection. It describes. So you know what is uh, how, what is cylindrical projection. What is it, it is cylindrical types. It is okay. Okay. And uh, is, is mm, and it is the angle of geodetic between two points. It is the angle, please you know, it is angle between two points. Here, so it is the say, azimuth azimuth projection. Okay, so we mes we measure the angle of angle from the north to from the north point to and uh, it describes the de and it defines the oblique cylindrical projection. Okay, or the Uh, or the angle of your geodesic between two points. We we measure the two points geodesic between two points. Okay, next our next topic is okay azimuthal projection. We we know the azimuth projections, and now we also discuss the azimuthal projection. Azimuthal projection is a form of projection where the Earth is projected onto a conceptual tangent or second plane. Second, second, second plan, plan. Okay, and see also planar projection. Eh? So here we must be know the the azimuthal projection. What describes? Now it is a projection where the Earth is projected. We project the Earth specially. We project the Earth. Okay, we project the we project the Earth. Okay, mm, we project the Earth, and uh, the uh, onto the conceptual tangent. We mean it is uh, mainly we use the concept of tangent wise. Or a second plan, second plan, second plan, hmm, second plan, plan. Okay, so see planar projection. It is yeah. 
so we if you also know the what is planar projection so plan planar projection then it will must be we understood the what is the, the azimuthal projection so it is those do are linked okay so it is a form of projection where earth is projected if you please remember that earth is projected where this is and called in on a conceptual tangent okay so it is the azimuthal projection okay and central meridian what is central meridian the, it is the line of longitude longitude the defense the center and the center uh, and often the x axis of a projected coordinate systems okay it is the it, it represents what it is the line of longitude line longitude you must know what is longitude is the, the longitude line it is okay it is longitude line and it defy the defines cons the, the center and the defend the center and often x axis x axis okay so uh, it is defined x axis okay uh, x uh, x origins so it defines x origin it defines x origin okay so of a projected coordinate system of a projected coordinate system it is a coordinate system system okay so you must remain this what is central meridian it is the longitude lines and where define the center and often x x x origin uh, center and often x origins and uh, of a projected coordinate system of a projected it is a coordinate system okay and now we will to describe now the circle what is circle circle is circle is geodetic shape circle is a geodetic shape it is a geodetic shape okay uh, for which the distance from the center for which the distance from the center to any point on the edge is equal so if it is a circle then it is the main point so here the two sides that means the on the edge are equally equal so it is it is if you remember it is 2 kilo 2 cm so it is 2 cm it is 2 cm okay so it is a circle it is a geodetic geodetic shapes yeah. so distance from the center uh, to any point to on the edge it equal it is equal equal Okay, you must remember it. Okay, then it's conformal projection. Conformal projection. What is conformal projection? It is a projection on which all angles at each points are prevent are preserved. So what it means that if it is a projection, conformal projection is a conformal projection is a projection on which all angles at which at each point all angles at at each points are preserved. preserved. if you since it is so all angles are preserved so mm, so the it is a projection or all angle at each points are preserved also called an orthomorphic projection we also call it orthomorphic projection okay so mm, so and ortho it is orthomorphic projection and center and velbex mm, voxel and center and Hoxlands 1989. It is they also given now. It's concept. So mm -hmm. it is a, it, it is, if you uh, if you remember that what is conformal projection, then you must remember that it is a, it, it is represent what it is represent angles and each points at each points are preserved, preserved, and that also also called is orthogonal projection. Okay. Um. Okay. So mm, now we'll be talking about conical conic projection. What is conic projection? A conic projection is a projection resulting from the conceptual projection. Resulting from the conceptual projection. Okay, it is a conceptual projection of the earth. Mm. Of the earth, it is a conceptual projection on the earth onto a tangent air or second cone, or onto a tangent air or second cone, oh, which is then cut lengthwise and laid flat. Okay, so conic projection is a projection resulting from the conceptual we will to we will to conceptual we will to doing now it's okay so it is a conceptual projection on the earth of the earth earth on to a tangent or second cone it 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 have tangent or second cone have its have so the which which is then cut length wise and laid flat it cut length wise okay it is 2 cm it is 2 cm so it is uh, length wise it's cut and laid flat it is flat described now so cinder and ball box land 1989 that's to describe now so must be remembering what now conceptual uh, what is it is the it is the conceptual projection of the earth onto a tangent of second cone okay 
and lengthwise it is led to flat and laid flat okay I cut lengthwise it is cutting okay then we must be talking about cylindrical projection cylindrical projection it is a projection resulting from the conceptual projection okay it, it, is, a, it is a conic projection it is a conceptual projection and it is a cylindrical projection it is a, it is a conceptual projection hmm. okay and uh, on, on of the earth on to a tangent or second cylinder cylinder you must remember there you have the cone and it is the cylinder okay it is the cylinder it is the cylinder okay so mm, it's a second cylinder which is then cut lengthwise and laid flat okay it is cut lengthwise okay and laid flat those are equally cut which is then how uh, cut okay those are equally cutting lengthwise and laid flat center and vox length 1989 those are also given this okay and now we also we also talking okay mm, okay now we'll describe the datum what is datum datum is an important term you must remember what is datum it is a reference frame defined by a spheroid and the spheroid position relative to the center of the earth what is its reference it is reference to the frame defined by the it is reference to frame defined it is a reference frame defined by a spheroid and a and the spheroid position relative to the, to the center of the earth so it is defined what the spheroid and spirit position relative to the center of the earth it must be remember it is related to define this reference frame and spheroid and spirit position and relative to the center of the earth okay and second is a set of control for the points a set of control for each have some control points and and a spheroid that define reference surface. It it it, it defines that they, they have reference surface surface. It here have reference. It here have ref surfaces. So it is the reference surfaces. So it is, it it is the control points. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Now we also describe uh, the eccentricity. Okay, it is an important term. Eccentricity. It is a measurement of how much an ellipse devices divides from the true circle it is a measurement how much an ellipse ellipse device from a true service so true circle okay how much ellipse divide deviates how do it deviates ellipse divides how to so it is how to ellipse divides from a true circle if the circle it is and how to divide the uh, that uh, the circle so it is the uh, uh, two circle so it is the ellipse 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 eccentricity eccentricity okay measurement as the square root of the quantity quality measurement the square root of the quality 1.0 minus uh, min minus minus of square the square of the ratio of the semi semi minor axis see okay access to the semi minus axis so i want to just tell you that it is the it is it is the measurement eccentricity is the measurement how much ellipse 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 devices okay from the center true center circle okay from the true circle that means it device from it device how much ellipse from the true circle true circle okay so measurement measured at the square root of the of the optimity 1.0 minus of the square of the ratio of the semi minor axis okay it is must be you must be remember that the 1.0 minus the square of the ratio of the semi minor axis the same of the to the semi minor axis okay so uh, it is the ratio okay square ratio it is the same minor axis to the same minor axis okay 1.0 minus here and the square of the the square of the eccentricity 
e2 is commonly used with the semi minus axis the square the square of the eccentricity e2 is commonly used with the semi minus axis a to define define s period in map projection equations a to define s period in map projection equations okay ये डिफाइन व्हाट ना मैप मैप फिजिशन इक्वेशन को तो दिखाते हैं ओके इलिप्साइड इलिप्स 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 व्हाट इट मींस इलिप्स ये जियोमेट्रिक सेप इलिप्स इज एन जियोमेट्रिक सेप इक्विवेलेंट टू ए सर्कल दैट इज व्यूड ऑब्लिक्युली इट इज जियोमेट्रिक सरफेस सेप इक्विवेलेंट टू ए सर्कल दैट इज व्यूड ऑन ऑब्लिक्युली ऑब्लिक्युली मींस it is obliquely just means it is uh, it's up the angular you will see in it's okay it is a geometric shape equivalent to a circle view obliquely a flattened circle okay a flattened circle that means mm, it is a flattened circle like a felt okay so two sides are very mm, extension and two side is with each closest okay so it is a geocentric shape equivalent to a circle that is viewed obliquely okay that is view obliquely and flattened circle okay okay and ellipsoid when used to represent the earth when we use to represent the earth the three dimensional say obtained by rotating an ellipse about its minor axis the three dimension shape obtained by rotating an ellipse about its minor axis okay its minor axis it is rotating about an ellipse about its minor axis okay this is a blade ellipsoid or of revolution okay also called spheroid so what is spheroid now if when used to rep we use used to represent the earth mm, the earth mm, the three dimensional space obtained by rotating one ellipsoid of about the its minor axis its minor axis okay must be remain in minor axis it is if when in rotating ellipsoid ellipse about its minor axis this is the oblate if ellipsoid of revolution oblate ellipsoid of revolution mm, also called a spheroid okay ellipsis ellipticity ellipticity the degree to which the ellipse divides deviates from a two circle the degree to which an ellipse divides deviates from a two circle it's a degree it's the degree which ellipse divides from a two circle which divides two circle it is a circle and it is divides two circle the degree of flattering the degree of flattering of an ellipse measured as 1.0 minus ratio to the same minus axis and same minus axis so you, before you study it that it is a ratio hmm, a one measured as a 1.0 minus ratio and same minus axis to same minus axis okay degree of flattering you must remember and then we this is it is the ellipsoid and before it is the ellipsoid and it is ellipsoid they were different okay it is the rotating what is my ellipsoid about its minor axis and ablet ellipsoid at its revolution okay and it is the flattering degree of flattering and uh, ellipsoid measured 1.0 minus and ratio between uh, ratio between same minor axis to uh, same minor, minor axis okay and equal area projection now we will study equal area projection is a projection on which the areas of all regions are shown in the same properties proportion to their true areas mm, where all the areas are same two proportions okay steps may be greatly distorted okay steps may be greatly distorted cinder and voxland 1989 they also tell us okay so uh, steps may be greatly distorted mm. equator the parallel of reference that defines the origin of latitude value 0 degree north to or south the parallel it is a parallel uh, difference that defines the origin of latitudes uh, latitude value 
zero degree north and south. North and south. It is the south or north and it is south. It is uh, thirty degree and sixty ninety. Okay, it is north and it is south twenty degree. Okay, so that's why it is our discussion. And uh, next, uh, nextly, next time we have uh, describe uh, describe some other other projection topics. Okay, thank you for seeing.